trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Not a body we bear, not a sorrow we share, but a song. to the King of Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, I've been dwelling on the covenant, the promises of God for this year, 2020, and for this decade. Then this song just came to my mind, and he said that you should look at all the wordings of that song. No matter what we do, all we need to do is to trust him and obey his word. Then when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, there is a glory that he sheds on our way. When we do his good will, he abides with us still. Praise the name of the Lord. in that verse 4 that we never can prove the delight of his word or his love until all on the altar we lay for the favor he shows and the joy he bestows on us this evening I want us to go open our Bible to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 Deuteronomy chapter 7. Deuteronomy chapter 7.
Just there now. I want those to start from verse six. Deuteronomy seven. Let's start from verse six. So that we know why God choose people for his glory. I said for his glory. Praise the name of the Lord. Because everything that God, everything he does in the word of God that we read is to show his glory. When he called Abraham to do what? To show forth his glory. When he hardened the heart of Pharaoh to do what? To show forth his glory. You know, when that, those parents, they came to Jesus Christ. And they said, Master, look at this child from the back. We just gave back to him like this. And we don't know who sinned. Is it the father or the mother? Or the child that, that was not even born. How does he say? But when Jesus Christ answered them, he said, for what? For the glory of God to be revealed to the whole world. Praise the name of the Lord. And God chooses you and I and give us this life and to reign and to enjoy all this covenant to so forth what is glory. Praise the name of the Lord. It's not because you know how to pray that your parent is a pastor or because your forefather has done something that no one has ever done before that qualify you, but it's because to show for what is glory in our life. Please, the name of the Lord. Let's start from verse 6. It says, For you are a people, holy to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you out of all the peoples of the face of the earth to be his people, his treasured possession. His treasured possession. The Lord did not set his affection on you and choose you because you are more numerous than other people. For you are the fewest of all people. Praise the name of the Lord. He was telling the Israel. It's not because you are no mirrors. You are even what? The fewest. Many of us, if you look at our life, you will see that if not that God just loves us, it won't be where we are today. It won't be where we are today. Many of us were not born with silver spoon in our mouth. Many of us, our forefathers, they served idols than anything. Many, they even killed human beings to their gods. But what qualifies you and I to this night is what? The love he has for us. And to show forth his glory through us. Praise the name of the Lord. If you know the history of Abraham, his lineage, they served idols. They kill women men every year to sacrifice to their idol. So if God wants to look at the one that qualifies, will he even go to their lineage? No. But God doesn't look the way human beings look. That's why you and I were selected for a period like this. Praise the name of the Lord. I think you will be happy that God does not choose with human merit doesn't matter what people say. Praise the name of the Lord. He have chosen you and I. He has selected those to show forth his glory. 
and we will show forth that glory in the name of Jesus. Verse 8 says, But it was because the Lord loved you. Because it's what? He loved you. It's just because he loved you. Because just of his love. Nothing. But his love. It was because he loved Abraham that he called him. Because if you keep on reading, he said, because he's right, he's hot. Unto Abraham, wow. He did what? He loved him before he made covenant with him. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Because Abraham was righteous. Just because of his love. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's, let's read more before I keep on talking. And kept the hold he so to, to your ancestors that he brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the land of slavery, from the power of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. Known therefore that the Lord your God is God. The Lord your God is God. <laughs> You know, when, you, when, you, when I was doing my program, if you want to write something, I use the same word, the same time in a sentence, they would tell you, mm -mm, you're wrong, you can't do that. But here, the Lord is affirming it, that the Lord, your God, is God. Is God. Is God. Whether you like him or you don't like him, he's God. Whether you serve him or you don't serve him, he's God. Nothing changes him. Mm -mm. He's God for himself and by himself. And anyone that he loves, he doesn't have to explain to anybody. Why did you love him? Who are you to question me? I love him. I love him. Because I am what? I am God. Praise the name of the Lord. I loved him. I love him. Nothing you can do about it. He says, I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Praise the name of the Lord. When Isaac and Rebecca had, when um, Rebecca was pregnant and everything was not going the same way, she, the way she thought, she went and said, man of God, what is going on? He said, two womb, two nations are in your womb. Two nations. And one I love. The other I do what? Huh? Are you okay? I think Rebecca's supposed to say, Why? What oh God? What are these people done? The child, these children, they were not born. Why you love this one and you hate that one? But it's an unquestionable God. No one can question this God. That you love you, you're supposed to just be celebrating. God, I thank you for you love me. You love me. You love me. I remember uh, last year, I think, no, not even last year, before last year, when my mom, before she got the visa and uh, green card to come, she's been to embassy many, many times. Every time she goes, denied, denied, <laughs> denied. And she's like, what have I done? You guys, what is going on there? I said, I don't know. I don't control what happens there. She said one time that there's a, that's a, there was a woman. She never even go to school. They said this woman was selling um, locust bean. And she went to embassy one time. And they granted her visa. I said, that is her own, own success. Praise the name of the Lord. 
It does, they, they don't care whether you sell locust bean or you don't sell anything. She says she does not even know how to use the rand of the bottle to make hole. Why they give her fees? I mean, get retired. Uh, I say, hey, it doesn't work like that. Praise the name of the Lord. The same thing with this God. It doesn't matter your background. It does not matter whether you know how to speak English or not. He understands every language. What matters is, is his love for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Because you will go this year. When things begin to happen in your life, people will ask you, why you? Why you? We know you before. We know your history. We know your background. How come it's you? You know the answer tonight. Right? And the answer is what? He loves me. He just loves me. He loves me. I cannot tell why. He loves me. I cannot tell why. On Calvary tree, he showed his blood for me. He lost me, I cannot tell why. He lost me, I cannot tell why. He lost me, I cannot tell why. On Calvary Street, he shot his blood for me. He lost me, I cannot tell why. I don't know about you. He lost me. I cannot tell why. He lost me. And I cannot tell why. On Calvary Street, he shot his blood for me. He lost me. And I cannot tell why. Children of God. He loves us so much. And he entered with us this day. January 5th, 2020. The divine possession. The people of God have explained in diverse ways. For us to understand what divine possession means. And what we need to do to enjoy it. But above all, always remember it's because of his love. He loves you. There is nothing you can do about it. Even yourself. There is nothing you could do about it. Nothing. Nothing. When he chooses you, he chooses you. When he loves you, he loves you. When things begin to happen for you, it happens for you. No one can question him. Let me tell you, you yourself, you cannot stop him. When he set his face to favor you, to bless you, you can't stop him. You cannot. You cannot. Because he's the law. The God is God. Praise the name of the Lord. I was reading my Bible. And God said to, I think he said that Jeremiah or Ezekiel. He said, you're going to lay in, a, in one side for this so years. Ha. He said, God, how will I do that? To lay in one side for, one, for this so many years without moving. Even me, I can't sleep for five minutes without turning to the other side. He said, no, God, I can't do it. Be on one side for years. So if you lay on the right side. You stayed that side for years, not moving. He said, no, my God, I can't do it. God said, you know what? I know you can't do it, but I will make you do it. You can do it, but because I am God, I will do what? I will help you to do it. 
You know, at times when things happen, I just say, Lord, help me. I don't want to do this thing. And help me not to do it. Because at times, things you cannot do it. The truth is you cannot do some things. But when you pray that prayer, you are the one that helped Jeremiah not to be able to move, but to be where you want him to be in the same position for years without feeling pain. Ah, Lord, you can help me not to fall into sin. Some people say, oh, it's not easy. It's because you are not ready for it. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I always pray that prayer. Make it difficult for me not to fall into sin. Hold me. Hold me. If you hold Jeremiah to do that, you can hold me too. Not to fall away from your presence. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus loves us. He loves us so much. He loves us so much. Let us pray. I still want to read to 15, but let's pray. The Holy Spirit is saying we should pray. Let us rise up. Let us begin to thank God. I just want you to thank God. The word of the Lord says many are called, but few are choosing. That you are here this hour is because you are part of the elect. You are a part of those people that God loves unconditionally. Unconditional. Thank God for the unconditional love he has for you. Daddy, I thank you for all conditional all love that you have for me. That you make me among the elect. Among the one that will proclaim the word of God throughout the whole world. Who am I? Who am I? Who knows my father? Who knows my lineage? Who knows the, 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 the village where I come from? Who knows? But Lord, you called me out of nothing to use me for your glory. Children of God, thank God, thank God. Thank God, your background, they are irrelevant. They are irrelevant. They are irrelevant. They are nothing. They are nobody. But God has chosen you to be somebody. God has chosen you to be the light of the world. God has chosen you to possess the land of America. Daddy, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for this love. For this love. For this love. For this love, O oh Lord. What can I give in return of this world? Nothing but to trust and obey you all the time. All I can just pay back is just to trust, to keep trusting you and obey you all the way to eternity. Daddy, help me. Pray unto the name of the Lord. He has chosen you to possess your possession. He has chosen you to reign and to rule. He has chosen you. He has elected you. When God chose David... He was the least in his family. And God chose him. He brought him. He brought him up. And placed him in the palace to reign and to rule. Ah, children of God, I want you to pray this hour. The way you are praying is not the way you should pray. You're supposed to be running on the floor, jumping everywhere. The Lord, you choose me. You that you choose David. David, heart of all his brethren. The one that his father even forgot in the wilderness. He didn't even know that he even had David anywhere. But you, God, you see. You see from your throne. You said unto, unto Samuel, we will not see that until David gets here. And you make him rule. You make him reign. Daddy, I thank you. For you have chosen me to reign. To reign. To reign in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Father, I worship you. Daddy, I glorify your name, O oh Lord, for this love, for this love, for this love, O oh Lord. Daddy, I thank you. 
that they are thank you, that they are glorify your holy name. Thank you, awesome God. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord, help me to forever trust and obey you. To trust and obey you all the time. All the time. In all things at all time. Father, Lord, help me and empower me. Grace me to trust and obey you all the times, all the times in all things, oh Lord. In all things, so always trust and obey you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, give me the grace. Daddy, give me the grace. Daddy, empower me more to always trust you. To always obey you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even when it is difficult, Daddy, Lord, help me to always trust you and to obey you. To always trust you and obey you. To always trust you and obey you. When all the whole world, when the physical see that this is blue and you said it's white, to always trust you that it's truly white, that it's truly white, that it's truly white, that people around me will say, are you insane? Are you stupid? Are you out of your mind? That I will tell them because my God says so. Therefore, I believe so. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pray for power. Pray for power to always trust him, to always obey him, to always trust him, to always obey him, to always trust him, to always obey him. In the mighty name of Jesus. To always trust him. To always obey him. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I love that verse 4 of that song very well. He said, but we can never prove. We never can prove the delight of your love. On the hall, on the altar we lay. For the favor it shows, and the joy it bestows. All for them who we trust and obey. And we look on now. Praise the name of the Lord. I want us to sing that verse four again. But we never can prove that the light of his love on the heart on the we lay for the favor he shows and the joy he bestows have for them who we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy. Six, six, for I desire mercy and not sacrifice. For I desire mercy, but not sacrifice. But I desire obedience. For 
for I desire obedience, not sacrifice. Romans 8 35. Can separate us. Romans 8 35. Some father say, What can separate us from the love? When the woman of God was ministered, she said, God said, I am a compassionate God. So when you are praying, it's good, good that you know, you know, this is season of prayer. But it's good that you pray and you don't pray amiss. Our God is a compassionate God. You are praying. But from what he, he read, he, he was not, I mean, he is not just a compassionate. He is a compassionate God for and to as many that trust him. And I obey him. He's a favorite God. Favorite. Favorite is God. So as many that trust and obey. If you don't trust him, you cannot show favor. If you don't trust him, he can't show compassion. Because you will not appreciate. And thanksgiving is what made God a God. Worship is what made him a king. Worship is a sign of recognition. When a man became king or become king, he got his, his, his head doesn't bigger. He doesn't have two heads. But what makes him a king is worship. Worship is honor. Worship is the beauty of truth. The beauty of truth is worship. God is good that you know what God told us now. You heard it, the word he told us in three o'clock. We are treading the same path. The love of God is God combined his love with you. To possess you. He possess you with his love. He is a possessive God. He was a possessive God. It's a divine possession for divine positioning. Oh God. Because it's not, it's, it's not good for us to stand here and be leading you Prayer and strength. Lead you, prayer and base. Hey, I possess my prayer. It's good like that. You call my daughter in the office, we said the same thing. Pray for the love of God. Pray. It's not that we love him. If you love him, there's something you will not do. But he, he is one that owns the love. He's one that loves us. And the love he has for us, you can't separate yourself from it. Even though he wants to separate us, eh? if it's impossible, and because of that law, that is why he divinely possess you. Therefore, he will be able to position you. It's good to understand divine possession. Divinity possess. Humanity. The embodiment of God possess you and it turn you to grace. You don't get it. The, the embodiment of God, the divinity, come into you, resident in you, and it turn you to grace. So at times of God, God 
give him power. I don't pay enter the glory of God to my room. The God grace me with power. Grace me with favor. Oh, I know I know change your mode of prayer. So that you, you come back here and I pray and I fast. And Satan know that Satan so, 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 I, Bible call it accuser. It's it's until Christ come. That's why we leave that office. You see, in that office, where you tell God he does he doesn't have knowledge of you. So where you where you do it for him, he won't appreciate. I you know that God loves worship. Eternally thankful. Because what made God God? What made him so? You show not you show is worship. And say that I know that you won't thank him if he do it for you. He tell God with this, God, let us bet it. He will not thank you because he don't have he won't appreciate it. He will say, You get lucky. What you saw to his table, but in return, he said, Yeah, that's my star. I only get locked. I only get locked. A boy he came from Africa. I did not know him from Ada. He lived in my home. Not inside the house. I gave him a complete house for a year. A complete house he lived for a year. I paid the bill. He messed up the fridge. He messed up the kitchen. No, the stove don't work. By the time he go out, he said, his name is Lucky. And that is his style. He only luck. Anywhere he go. That is what I got. Because I know that where he is today, he's still lucky. Because nothing can work for that guy. If, a, if uh, even if I'm not a man of God, carry anointing, carry the grace. A man do got so much good. And all you are looking for is a fault. You know, you know, you know, your friend, I offended him. A man of God came from Africa. A man of God came from Africa. A man of God was preaching on the altar. He said the man of God was losing all his life to preach. He said, as a result, I was the one. That told the man of God to preach that message because of me. I said, did I, I said, did I know you that so much? You came from Africa, from nowhere. I didn't know you. you did not live in my house. You don't live with me. Ah, did the man of God now? Can you imagine? That was the only offense. If, I, if, a, if a man of God preach, the preaching is for you to. Pick your own and make a change. Because until the God, until the word of God changes you, until you are changed by the word, there's nothing that can change in your life. I say yes, you have separated yourself because the the, the bar edge of the wall of God can't change you. The sharp edge of the blessing of God cannot come to you. So you can realize this. The prayer of uh, Bola, I mean, that he led, plus what the pastor carried on to, and the one the mama carried on to is the same. And the same is that the, that the embodiment of divinity will come into your life, possess your humanity, and turn you to grace. So that what you cannot do by flesh, Grace will give you divine enablement. Simple. Full messages. And dominion upon. Hey, you are being possessed by God. You can't possess America. You can't possess anything in America. You cannot. When you are speaking, is that the same don't you? But when he change, when he possess you, everything about him change. You become spiritually contagious, financially contagious, because you are different. Everyone that contacts you now, he contacts Christ. Before you speak, you already contact them. 
Can I give you a more example before I do it? God told the children of God told the children of Israel, We are remember the soul of your feet and said, It has been taken for your possession. So as a result, every time nation captured them as a slave, and they took them captive for their land, they possessed the land. Because they are divinity in incarnate. They are God in incarnate. They have been possessed. They are the instrument of God. We are the instrument of God is God that is taking care of it. So from tonight, you become the embodiment of divinity. So do not go back to your office in the, in the old mentality. Grasshopper mentality. Do not go back to your house tonight with the grasshopper mentality. It is a grasshopper mentality that makes you think that you are witches. Not the ego. It's a grasshopper mentality to make you think that witches are greater than you. Grasshopper mentality makes you afraid of witches. Which they are already under your feet. It's a grasshopper mentality to be afraid of what already afraid of you. No more. Taking all your time to pray, waste your time, waste your bullets on something that's already under your feet. Wait, wait, waste your bullets, waste your energy, waste your time on prayer that God has no regard for. He has no regard for it. So that communion is a communion of thanksgiving. And Lord, I thank you because you have downloaded the divinity into this hard person to become embodiment of grace. Embodiment of grace. Masotia Kali Maye Lebozi Da Kasanta Okay now. Now God has turned to the embodiment of grace by this communion. Tell God what you want to use it to do. What is it that you want to use to achieve? And I don't want to, I will advise you not for double job, I mean double schedule, not for double shift, not for stress, but for pleasure, for evangelism. What do you want to use this grace for? You are the embodiment of grace now. What do you want to use it for? To achieve for Christ. What do you want to use it for? What do you want to use it for? See that majestically because we are doing communion. You are dying and one with your maker. Begin to talk to God. Thank you. I say, God, now that I am embodiment of grace, I want to use my time from now not to do double shift, not to labor after money, not to be Begin to tell God, tell God, be serious about yourself. Take time to speak to the most high God. Open your mouth wide. Because God will fill your mouth with glory, with praise. Open your mouth wide. Now, partake in the body and drink the blood. Let us stand up and begin to thank the Most High God. Bless the everlasting Father. Thank you, the great I am. Thank you, the most glorified, merciful, loving, full God. Bless him, adore him.
glorify him. Say something to the most I have, the most I am, the just God, the dependable God, the most reliable God. Bless him. And don't forget what I told you. Maybe on, on Tuesday, or, I mean, maybe on Thursday. After each service, do not go home. Do not leave the altar without going to God and pick something from that and make your vow. Hallelujah. If you want God to do something easily, speedily, it's by foul. It's by foul. I tell you, come to him, Lord, I heard that I am not embodiment of grace. He says you have great now. I don't want to walk like a jackal again. I'm just telling you. If I were you, I eat like a rat. Ah, it doesn't matter. Walking like a lion, walking like elephant, I eat like a rat. The food of rats cannot satisfy lion God. You come to the Lord, satisfy me with my choice in me. Satisfy me, O Lord, to eat my choice in me and not what available. I'm just giving you a clue because uh, that's where I come. Because I cannot walk Christ in this animal and be eating like a slave. I want to be divinely positioned for my blessing. Because I have been divinely possessed to be divinely positioned. Oh Lord, it is time. That is one on one with you and with your God. And God will answer you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Meet you on the top.